is going on my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy to the dream singles of the week is back in effect um i had to take a break because i was out for coachella so i did not make a singles of the week while i was gone and also the following week i really wanted to focus on my dream experience video for coachella which by the way is out right now i'll make sure to link it right at the end of this video be sure to check that out it's a really really good video i think you guys will really really enjoy it but we are back with singles of the week a segment where i like to break down some of the newest tracks that have dropped in this recent week do not forget to check them out for yourselves they are all in the description down below be sure to let me know what you guys thought about them and let's just get right into these new singles okay uh we are gonna start off a bit weak <laughs> admittedly we're gonna start off a little bit weak i'm gonna bring you on with this new song it is called uh sweeter scars from rappers just juice logic and trippy red i've never listened to just juice and honestly for what the track has i really do not care for the guy what he's really putting on the table vocally i'm really not here for it when it comes to a distinction i'm really not able to observe anything that really you know just isolates him from the rest of rappers you know what i mean and just like it doesn't really make anything seem like this is a guy that you really should be paying attention to logic and trippy are also just kind of just like they're mainly on here for clickbait i really didn't feel like they added anything interesting as well they really don't do anything amazing i don't know i really did not think this was good at all i didn't really like anything on here all right next we're gonna give a shout out to indie rock band crumb dropping the new track dust bunny very mellow drowsy indie rock blend it's not a complete dream pop sequence but it's on the borderline of it i i think instrumentally they pull off some really good fluid movement making this really smooth and not stiff at all very very smooth and very very moving and however you know i also would say that this isn't really far off from your random grab bag kind of an indie track i really didn't feel like uh, I, I don't mean that as a bad thing though i really don't mean that as a bad thing i i still felt like the track was enjoyable but to me, I really couldn't find anything that really moved me or drastically caught my attention while I'm going through this song. Something for me to really jot down, something in my notes. Again, not bad though, not bad. All right, next we got Odessa dropping a deluxe version of the new record, The Last Goodbye. Um, really, when it comes to new songs that they added in here, they really only added two original new tracks, but they also added two vip remixes of some older songs the one i will be talking about in this video is the song all we need with shy girls which is also the song if you remember from their 2014 lp in return uh this song is just nuts it's crazy i'm telling you th this song is super thrilling odessa pulls off this kind of like sci-fi ethereal like reimagination that leaves you in a state of paralysis it's so refreshing it's just it's beautiful i really really dug what odessa did with this song it's so out of pocket like i didn't think they would even go back to these songs and make vip versions because i really really like what they did with the bronson tape um so yeah unpredictable yet pleasant super fire and then we got rap duo zilakami and sosmula city more dropping the single skulls and bones still sticking to that same style that city more really sticks with a lot a lot more darker this time instrumentally i would say so normally when it comes to the beat switch that they displayed on here i feel like i really want to like it but it somehow worked for me on here it made me think more highly of the creativity level for this song so yeah, overall, that's really all of my thoughts on the song. It's, it's, I'm giving it the green. All right, and then we got the lovely pop singer-songwriter, Rachel Chinariri, with the song Ribs. I found the production to be pretty clean, the acoustics sound pretty smooth, and the electronics showcase a great level of dynamic. Singing sounds pretty great as usual. And as you know, the, the song structure is pretty basic, because lately she's been going with some very simple pop structures. But I feel the quality is just too potent too potent excuse me it's too potent to ignore you can't help but to fall for the chorus and the guitar playing especially and the harmonies like in the transitions as well i i think a lot of people might find this in the yellow area which sure i would accept that i think that's very fair but i don't know for me i enjoyed it i'm gonna give it the green all right next we're gonna be talking about some new trap from g herbo glorilla and mellow bucks this is called outside you know i feel like these folks they really do work together well and by the way just to really say it early on glorilla really killed it on this song i love this she sounds stupid dummy crazy super hot fire on this song my guy the hook is just the one thing mainly the one thing that really killed the vibe for this song for me i just thought it was so 
it felt silly and when you look at it from that perspective i guess it's just okay but i don't know man it was just annoying to me i didn't like it overall the song's okay all right then we got buffalo's own conway the machine coming in hot with jay skis on the chosen this is silly fire production it's so wavy this is silly wavy this shit sounds so old school and classy but it's also got a little of a modern tip-top production to it because it really feels super clean and neat, very vivid. Both of these fellows are really dropping some fire bars on the song as well. They even really have this moment where they're passing the mic to each other. It's very, very fun. And I just thought overall the song is very cold, wavy, and flamey. All right, then we got Beach Fossils coming out with Run to the Moon, giving us that classic Beach Fossils shoegaze indie rock fusion. I feel like they're improving a lot with their mix qualities for sure. The guitars sound quaint on this one they, they can be distant they can be faded they can be in your face it's just pleasant i really like what they did with the mix it's good I, it's really calming all right and then we got indie band joseph with the song waves crash the vocal work on the song is absolutely tremendous so much power and emotion driven from these ladies in unison i love the way it builds from a slow burner and then as it picks up very bit by bit into this crescendo of an event and then it starts to deflate softly at the very end of the song high quality songwriting right here this one is great i love it all right and then we got lotto spinning that wavy fat drums and 808s on the song put it on the floor uh go grizz was also on the production here with co-producer squat and po beats i thought they did really really good on here this song just flowed like it, it went in with no hesitation like lotto was destroying on here it kept that same energy from start to finish uh, props to her this is some really 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 good stuff some odd pause moments kind of it felt like there could have been a little bit more spaces like slotted and filled in. But overall, it was still cool. I really like it. Then we got some old blue grass from the man himself, Billy Strings, teaming up with the iconic Willie Nelson on the song California Sober. I mean, come on, man. Do you really need me to tell you if this song works? Do you really need me to tell you if this song works or not? Come on, my guy. Do I gotta tell you this shit moves, my guy? I love Willie on here. I love that Willie, he doesn't try to outshine Billy on here. He, he just lets him do his thing and he only enhances the experience for the song and he does it effortlessly. The song just hits the heart and soul. It, it's getting the flames for me. It's great. It really it is really, really good. All right, and then we had the drop of this song from Grupo Frontera and Bad Bunny, Un X 102. I actually heard this song live with both of them on there uh, for Bad Bunny's performance at Coachella Weekend 1, which was really, really, really cool. Loved it. Um, You know, I really love the design in here and hearing this shit live it, it was really, really good. I did really enjoy it. And I think it sounds even better in the studio version. I, I think, I, like, I like this maybe just as much as Grupo Fimes and Maluma's collab. Um, probably just as much. Maybe a little bit less. Nah, probably just as much. Uh, the reverb on Bad Bunny almost adds this, like, godly epic entrance that i really really picked up on like immediately i thought it was really really cool and it didn't really drown the mix either which is really nice it, it, it fit perfect on here this is some great bonda honestly i'm gonna give it the green i think this is really really good and then we have a new pop single from neil horan called meltdown this is boring this is uninspiring it, it's drowned in reverb highly lacking song from neil i'm not gonna be revisiting this one anytime soon all right and then we got dj producer fortet with the track three drums like this is like an ambient electronic piece with a hit of a uh, boom bap style choices with the drums i think at some moments the song is just a bit harsh and pushed a bit too far on the threshold of uh, ambient songs like this they have a bit more of, of a simmer effect to it. This one just tries to do a few too many buildups, and it just felt like in the progress of it, it wanted to become something so much bigger, but it just gets louder. It doesn't really progress into something bigger. It literally just gets louder. It feels like it's just getting over amplified, and it's very annoying, very harsh in the ears. This really isn't anything I really enjoyed from Fortet. I mainly only like his collab so far with like Skrillex and uh, Fred again. Uh, I, and when it comes to the timing of the song, the length, it really does feel like it drags on a little bit too long. Actually, a lot too long. It really didn't need to be the song. Um, it, it's kind of hard to commit to when it comes to um, the issues early on in the track. It, it's just very unnecessary. I did not really enjoy this one. All right, and then we got Rico Nasty with the track Turn It Up. It has some of the same aggression energy on like the similar song, um, Oh For Real. 
the 808s give off the like the exact same amount of pressure compared to that song on the mix and rico gives pretty much the same exact amount of energy on there which is really good i really like the aggression on there i thought some of the bars were pretty funny made me laugh maybe chuckle but the instrumental it's just a bit of a downgrade compared to that song i thought this could have really used something extra to add to the recipe to make this a little bit more spicy but I, it didn't really have that on here so overall just kind of just think it's okay all right the next we got punk rock band movements on the track killing time i'm digging the progression of the song the arpeggios really really compliment patrick miranda on here so movements fans you should let me know what you guys think of this i'm actually questioning to see excuse me if you really enjoy this or not i'm kind of predicting you'll feel the same way as i do um i really would like a little bit more power off of the back end of the song otherwise i just felt like it was just okay i felt like the fellas made a decent song but just a decent song all right next we got foo fighters out with the track dropping last week it's called rescued and newest content ever since the tragic passing of taylor hawkins um i think it means a satisfactory standard for Foo Fighter fans, it's really nothing crazy though. It's got that same like power rock feel from Foo Fighters that they're really, really famous for. Uh, like I said, the fans will enjoy it, but if I'm gonna be honest, I, because of the lack of creativity and progression, I, I just don't really think this deserves anything higher than a red rating just cause, I don't know, man. A, a, a band with this high caliber of talent I just think you could do something more theatrical with a song like this, and it's just kind of fan service. But eh, hey, man, teach his own. All right, another one that dropped last week is from Christine and the Queens, and this song is called True Love, and it features 070 Shake. This is an interesting slow burner with an electronic art pop aesthetic. The song doesn't really present itself to be like an approachable song musically, but artistically, the song does pack something that it really did find very interesting 070 shake is presence in the song it causes like this aftershock effect with like a lot of like static just synthetics in here and i thought that was just cool i thought that was a very grandose uh grandesque um that's the word i'm trying to use i think so um entrance and I, I thought it was really cool and it just added to her her sound and her style I, I really did like what they did on there and Christine's singing is pretty alluring on top of everything as well I felt I didn't really enjoy this as much as I wanted to because like I said it lacks that musicality that makes me want to put this on a replay but I felt like you know thinking about this after artistically it does have something that I could appreciate with the craft so I'll give it the yellow i guess all right next the kid Leroy dropped a piano ballad and it's called where does the spirit go this is a very cringe song i i do not think the guy is a great singer um i know that sounds mean i just honestly do not care for him as a singer at all and this just is a very boring dull acoustic ballad it is sorry man I just, you know. oh and then we got this team up from gus dapperton and beanie having the return on the song don't let me down uh we haven't seen them team up ever since the super lonely song which was a huge hit from beanie beanie on this song is amazing is amazing I, I, this time they like do like a disco thing and i just feel like it's so groovy i'm really loving what they're putting down on here i just feel like it's so much better than super lonely seriously i really really dig this song instrumentally vocally it surpasses the song in my eyes it, it is the successor for sure they work like a charm together and i really did like gus's intro into the song too again it felt like another uh grandos entrance that really feels very unique with great embellishments in the background behind him amazing song all right then we got post malone's and it was single chemical what is going on with the reverb and his music man it is drowning everything everything sounds super wet it is suffocating the entire mix like i don't get it man this this song just sounds way too overprocessed way too overprocessed and then on top of that his falsetto sounds super synthetic but yeah man this is bland I, I can dig post vocally i can dig him but everything else is bland very very dull pop song and then we are gonna end off with the track uh that i reacted to last week which was the weekend's double fantasy featuring future that was also produced by metro boom and first shown and performed at coachella if you had already watched the video and you're watching this now you may remember that i was a bit confused to how low the audio was in the music video it came in very very quiet on my end so i wanted to play it with some headphones off the air to see how i still felt about it 
Yeah, the song's awesome. The song's great. I'm gonna give it the flames. And that is it for this week's Singles of the Week, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go to like, share, and comment down below of what you thought of these tracks. Do not forget to check them out for yourselves. They are all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces.